Howdy nerds and welcome to the evening roundup. Oh yeah, there's still Grand Conquest to do. So anyways, let's go take a look at what's coming because there's a new update coming. 2.7 is finally on its way. Thank the Lord, it took you long enough <laughs> for something new. But first, let's talk about tactics drills. This is the new game mode that is coming. I mean, technically new game mode. Tactics drills, basically, it's a way to test your strategy and it gives you a fixed hero or heroes and you have to overcome challenges within a certain amount of phases. Phases are, uh, you know, distributed between your turn and the enemy's turn. So the the example they, hear, they have here is if a map specifies that you must complete it within three phases, you have to do it within those three phases. Your turn, your enemy's turn, and one more turn is the example that they give. There's also different types of uh, tactic battles here. That of course is uh, the basics to just teach you the rules of combat, the skills um, studies that'll just teach you various skills, and then Grandmaster, which will be for the more advanced players. And, of course, according to this, you need to complete Book 1, Chapter 13 of the main story to challenge Grandmaster maps. Um, honestly, this sounds like a really good thing to have. I'm hoping that it will be something more than just simply, uh, oh, hey, here, do a battle. Um, you know, something that'll last five minutes. I'm hoping it's more puzzle-oriented and more gets you in the mood to do strategies and things like that. But that's not all we're here to talk about. Oh no, we have a few more things, okay? So we have a weapon refinery update, and here are the characters that are getting it. Uh, Katarina is getting Reese's Tome, uh, Nephany is getting, uh, Dauntless Lance, and of course, uh, the one, one unit I'm actually really excited to see, Titania, is getting a, uh, Draconic Polax, which, hmm, all of this sounds fascinating, but then I saw this, and I'm incredibly excited now. Mistletane will now upgrade into Dark Mistletane. Eldigan is going to be a absolute nightmare now. I, I'm <laughs> super excited for this, guys. Help me, please. I'm gonna die. Anyways, um, so yes, all of those characters are getting an, you know, getting a weapon upgrade. Anyone you're excited about? It seems pretty interesting that we're getting two characters that are from, uh, you know, the Radiant Sagas that are getting an upgrade. And then, of course, we have Katarina, as well as Eldigan, who's going to finally get that upgrade that I've been waiting for forever. I'm super excited about it. So excited, guys. Um, well, let's just, for some reason... Come on, scroll down. There we go. I don't know what's going on with my uh, tablet today. Quest progression. They're just changing the display. I know, this is really a lot to take in. Um, outside of that, well, battle music is being added to the settings menu. So background music will play when the battle scenes are actually... T <laughs> yes! That is the best upgrade I've had. I can finally turn on animations and enjoy that when I'm doing something... You know, just fun and enjoy the music. Sometimes a lot of those battles have some really great music. I just kind of, I want to keep the animations going, see what happens. And, you know, it just kind of breaks the flow a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind. Apparently, event re recaps are going to be adding, <laughs> added um, where you can review past events. So uh, that's cool. And then, of course, there's also going to be a restart option added to the menus in Grand Hero Battles, Tactics, Drills, and other maps. So you can play, you know that can be played without stamina. So that's even better. Honestly, 2.7 seems to be a bit smaller of an upgrade. Um, I'm kind of upset that they didn't do a Fade Channel, but I guess we won't be having too much just yet. Maybe they have a few surprises in their, uh, in the works. Uh, I mean, I don't think they can add anything else when it comes to, uh, you know, weapons or changes there. I don't think we're going to be getting any, like, colored daggers or, you know, colorless tome units or staff units that are colored either. Because, I mean, honestly, what was the last thing we used a colorless bow on? It was Lin, and that was ages ago. So, uh, I'm hoping you make some better uses out of that colored bows there, guys. But all in all, hmm, it seems like a decent update, and the main thing here is, of course, Tactics Drills, and I'm really excited to see how this is going to work. I'm hoping it'll be a fun one. This example is just, uh, you know, the obvious kind of tutorial thing, where you need to, you know, kill these enemies with Anna, which, you know, hopefully nothing too crazy, but I'm, I'm, I'm really adamant and hopeful that uh, this will be a lot of fun, because uh, we need something that's just, 
different. And I'll be honest, Arena's kind of broken, and a lot of that other nonsense is going on. But uh, there's your update. Anything you guys are excited for, anything you are interested in in the future, please do tell me. I'm really happy to see Eldigan's going to become a god again. <laughs> At least mine will. Damn it all. Anyways, now, um... <laughs> all right. Well, that's just my look at it. Um, do tell me what's going on. Have I still not done... Th I mean, I'm going to go do that uh, Hector battle right now. Actually, before we go, speaking of... You know what? Let's try and summon. Let's see what happens. Do we get any greens? We did. And this will be the last bit of the video. So, that was the evening roundup. Do tell me what you guys think of the new update. And uh, be sure to tell me if you're interested in any of it. And I got a Frederick. I'm gonna leave now. Bye!